Hi guys. Envy twice before here showing you my folk art extreme acrylic glitter collection. I have purchased all of the glitters and when I mean all of the glitters I mean all of the glitters. There are 20 acrylic glitters in all and I purchased every one including yours truly the neon pink now I bet you guys are looking at this nail art wheel wondering why am I talking about nail art wheels when I said I was going to talk about my extreme glitter haul well, I'm going to talk about this for a couple of seconds because I think this will probably help those who are trying to uh, incorporate their nail art and stuff. Last year I contemplated about buying these nail art wheels and I didn't want to buy them and I, I finally bit the bullet and this year I went and bought two packs. I bought them from Sally's. You get, you get 18 nails on a 10 art nail wheel and you get 10 in a pack. So, and these are like $5.36 a piece since I'm a club member. So I bought two of these packs and I thought what better way to incorporate my nail polish than to put it on a nail art wheel. But I have so much nail polishes, it's not even funny. And every time I go to the store, I always end up walking out with something nail artish. So because my nail polish bottles are constantly growing, I thought it would be really unnecessary to put it on my nail art wheel, especially if I'm trying to incorporate my colors. And I just have too many colors just to put on a nail art wheel. So I decided to try to do this, use this for my nail art designs. Now I've said over numerous occasions that I don't know how to draw and I do have a lot of ideas for my nails and they look right in my head but I usually try to draw it out on paper to see how it will look and paper just doesn't hardly help see the design. So I thought what better way to do it than to put it on a nail art wheel and of course the nail art wheel works. Now because I said I bought two packs of these and I didn't want to run out of the second pack before I went and bought a new one. So I went to eBay, my favorite place for nail art supplies, and I can't remember which one I bought first, but one of these was like four for a dollar. And you know, after you pay for your product from uh, eBay, it takes you to a page that you might be interested in, and it showed me another set of nail art wheels. So I went on ahead and bought two sets of each, and I think they were about like a dollar, and I think the shipping and handling and stuff was free. So. I just went nail art crazy and I didn't want to run out of these so I came across these. These are almost like these. They're a little bit longer and they still have I think 18 nails on the wheel but in this case you get 12 nail art wheels for 99 cents and they're from the seller 99HK. I hope I'm saying that right. You get 12 sets of wheels for 99 cents and it costs $1.99 for shipping and handling and that's for each set so if anybody is interested in putting their nail polishes on something or their nail art designs I would recommend a nail art wheel because it does come in handy and it does help now the moment you guys have been waiting for the reason why you're probably going to watch this video it is because of ta-da I'm going to pan out just a little so you can see out just to see if you can get all of the colors. This is from Folk Art. It is extreme glitter and as you can see it comes in 20 colors. Now when I went to Walmart um, I'm always trying to find something to incorporate my nails and I love glitter because it sparkles. I love sparkle. Okay. I, I love this stuff and I love glitter and it doesn't matter I always put glitter on my nails and I always look for ideas for my nails and I came across these two so um, I wanted to see what it looked like and of course I put it on my nail art wheel and uh, it didn't look right and I was like oh man so I sat it aside I cleaned up forgot I had put it on the nail art wheel and when I remember I went back to the nail art wheel and it dried in a flawless sparkle and I love sparkle and so when I saw that, I put another coat on there and it was even better and it was a huge plus when I put the, um, a clear coat on there. So I thought, okay, if those two look right, let me go out and see what other colors that they have. Now, I'm not trying to knock Walmart. Believe me, Walmart has some good stuff, but the problem is where I live at, the craft supplies are limited 
and few. So I went on ahead and I think they had like six extreme glitter colors and I bought uh, four because uh, it was like neon pink and something and of course y'all know I don't like pink. It's not one of my favorite colors. So I bought these colors and I did the same thing. I put it on a nail art wheel. It came. It turned out to be the same way as I did the first one. I set it aside, let it dry. It looked flawless. Did the same thing. Put two coats on there and a clear nail polish color, and it came out great. And I sat there and thought about it. If it comes well on a, if it comes out on a nail art wheel, then what would it look like if I put it on my nails? So I put it on my nails, and of course it came out great. Hence the. Um, video my nail art session that I have and um, when I went around in real life I had so many compliments from people and uh, they were surprised to learn that it was acrylic paint they was like you can't paint your nails with acrylic paint boom I painted my nails with acrylic paint well this ain't acrylic paint but I showed them I have acrylic paint and so when I got the response that I, I wasn't expecting I went and decided to buy some more of course every Walmart that I went to only had a few selections so I thought what can I do where can I go to buy more of these colors? Michaels. So I went to Michaels. Michaels had all of the colors. I mean all of them. My, I was excited at first but then I was upset because when I saw the price I was like oh man Walmart's price is $2.47. Michaels is $2.29. And so I bought all of the colors at least I thought. And so I went to the website to, uh, at Folk Arts website to see what, um, what other colors that they have and it turned out that they had like 20 colors so I went down the list to see what colors that I missed and I had missed three so I thought okay if Michaels was $2.29 let's see if I can find it at Joanne's Fabrics Joanne's Fabrics is um, $2.49 so I went back to Michaels and I got all of the colors which you see right here now I'm going to talk about this for a couple of seconds. I'm going to slide that off. Put that there so you guys can watch it. I'm going to talk about this for a little bit. This Folk Art Extreme Glitter, like I said, it comes in uh, two, color, two sizes. I'm going to zoom in on that. It comes in two sizes. This is the two ounce and it comes in a five ounce. Now you know the five ounce will cost a little bit more. A two ounce a little goes a long way. If you're not a craft person like myself then a two ounce is all you need. If you love to paint, if you love to draw, then a five ounce would be a good thing to do. This is a lot easier to apply than the loose bar glitter. As you can see, like I said, I love glitter. I have so many glitters that it's not even funny. Um, Jones Tones have more than 20 loose art glitters. Um, they range from three, three kinds, metallic, iridescent, to um, holographic. And like I said, I have so many, I haven't even opened these yet. I have a lot of these that I haven't opened yet, but they, this one is a lot easier to apply than the loose glitter. If you make a mess, all you gotta do is just uh, wash it off. Let's talk about the application. First, I'm going to show you. I have put all of these on my nail art wheel just to showcase the colors. These are all, well, 19 colors because I'm going to explain that in a couple of seconds. These are all 19 colors on a nail art wheel. Now, the, let's talk about some of the pearls. Like I said, a little goes a long way and the application is pretty easy. Now, if you buy this, this is what it looks like when you first buy it. It doesn't look promising and that's why it threw me off for a little bit. I'm going to talk about why I don't use, I use a Q-tip and I'm pretty sure everybody's seen me use a Q-tip. I have about like 30 some odd paint brushes. Don't ask me why I have these paint brushes. I have them and I don't know how to use not one. But I don't use the paintbrush because of the simple fact that this is the application. It is so thin and you will probably have to do about like five or six coats or probably more just to get it to look like that. So that's why I don't use a paintbrush and also you have to keep dipping it in water and cleaning it and dipping it in water and cleaning it and that's why I don't use that. I use a Q-tip because a Q-tip 
You can put as much on as you want. And the application on the Q-tip, you see how thick that is compared to the paintbrush? A Q-tip has a better application than a paintbrush. And the good thing about this Q-tip is that I can use this tip for five, about like five times before um, I decided that I want to switch it and I can use this side five times and the good thing about that is that once it dry I can just sit it aside and once it dry I can go ahead and probably use it again or I can just toss it if I want to. Now the good thing about this is that um, if you don't want to use this color if you don't like it you can either use fingernail polish remover or if you're like me I have a peel problem. I wouldn't recommend you peeling any kind of nail polish or any acrylic off your nails. But if you don't like the color, it peels off very easily. And it's like a, a, a rubbery substance. So if you don't like it, you can either, well, like I said, I wouldn't recommend peeling it with your nails. You can peel it off or you can use nail polish remover. Now, here's one of the pro, the cons that I have about this. Um, if you don't put clear fingernail polish or any kind of nail protectant on there and you immerse your hands in water, it will become, it will start to like peel off like in a gritty, rubbery substance and thus it will make your nails look like it's frayed. That's the, one of the um, cons. Another con is, I know it's not completely accurate because this um, substance, this texture is different from the actual texture but when I put this on the nail and I timed it, it takes about like 10 to 15 minutes to dry. I'm pretty sure you probably are like whistling about now but I think because it's on here it took longer because it's cold plastic as opposed to warm nail beds. But the pro about that is that um, you can tell what part of your nail is dry and what part isn't. I don't know if you can tell about that part. This is the part that I put on the uh, paintbrush. That part is dry and that part isn't. So if you wanted to do another coat, you can go and see what part is dry and what part isn't. So that's basically my take on these Extreme Art Glitters. A little, whoops, I didn't have a lid on that. A little goes a long way. It is easier to apply. If you make a mess, you can clean it up. It goes it doesn't come off your nails unless you take it off until you take it off it will stay on your nails until you take it off it's affordable you can get it at uh, Michaels for two dollars and 29 cents it comes in two sizes um, it comes in 20 colors it is fabulous and if anybody is interested in trying these I will be more than happy to uh, know about it. I've already recruited one person so um, let's see if I can recruit some more. As a side note and a disclaimer I am not knocking any of the stores that I named. I just decided to show everybody where you can get the best deals at. Um, I'm not getting any monetary value from this. I'm not soliciting this. It's just something that I wanted to share to the nail craze world. Um, that's basically about it. So I Thank you guys for watching and until my next nail art session, see ya!